Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Happy Saturday. What is today's date? Saturday, the July 20th. Hope you're out and about having a great weekend. Hope you're relaxing, getting some downtime. Um, I am, I'm for one, am tired, right? My summers are long. I do uh, about 25 classes a week, including my youth class. And then I have some more sports training in the summer. So I'm exhausted, right? So, um, and not very many days off. So Saturdays, I get up more in the morning. Hey, Carrie, what's up, girl? I get up in the morning and go train my new team, a new football team I'm working with, my son's Pop Warner team. And then tomorrow, I've got to go serve the Lord. What's up, BC? And so there's really no days where I have to, um, I can sleep in. But I, I chose that route. So I'm happy to do it. Um, and so the last thing I wanted to do right now was do a video. But it's on the path to what I want to be in life, right? That's going to be the path I'm, I'm on is to be in front of thousands of people speaking at large venues. So I got to take those steps. I got to do those workouts, if you will, those those metaphorical workouts along the way to get where I want to be in life, right? I got to see that passion, that vision in the, in, in the distance and, and remember that there's steps, right, Michael? There's steps along the way to get into that passion, that vision that must be taken. There's miles that must be run for me to get there. So as I was driving home from getting my son, who, by the way, did a 8 a.m. workout for his football team and then did a three-hour basketball workout in the off-season, right? So he did a dribbling clinic and a shooting clinic. So he's a grinder. He pushes me. My daughter is getting up and running on, on Instagram. She's putting out workouts. She's building a brand. So they pushing me to be better. Right. So I'm hopeful you guys I know BC and I've been doing this since we were 15 years old doing workouts. You know, my neighbors, Carrie and and, and, her, and, and Oscar, they they grinding, you know, and, and doing well in their business. Michael's doing this thing. So um, we are here to push each other. Right. So today's topic is about the the time value of pleasure. Right. So those who those who don't know me like know me, know me from, from way back when. My background, my educational background is not in sports fitness or, or sports science or kinesiology or exercise physiology. My, my educational background is not in those areas. My, I'm, I'm trained academically in economics and finance. As a matter of fact, I have an, an, an MBA, a master's degree in business administration uh, in finance, and I worked as a chief financial officer for about a decade. So my so my academic background is in finance. So a a common theme that you learn early. Who keeps crying in my in my day things? An academic thing uh, that you learn in finance is is a a thing called the time value of money. Right, it's one of the, the things you learn early on in any uh, finance or economics academic career, right? And what that means is a dollar today is worth more than a dollar tomorrow or a month from now or a year from now. And the reason that's, that's true is because you give me a dollar now, I can invest it and earn interest along the way. So a dollar next week is worth less because I can't earn the week's interest if I have it now, a dollar next month or next year is worth less to me because I can't invest it now. So that's the time value of money. What I come to do, and you guys know me, I try to, I try to bring all these, these life lessons to the forefront and, and make them relatable. Not just to fitness, right, and losing weight, but to everything, right? I truly believe that, that, that all this stuff we go through has a connection somewhere if we look. Right before we had any of this stuff, money, televisions, phones, uh, workout programs, gyms, right? We didn't have any of that. We we had we had underlying tenets, underlying uh, staples, underlying principles, underlying universal universalities that made life go, that made life tick, that made made things work. Right? God created systems underneath all of this that we have to kind of find the connections. Right. So what I love to do is kind of look back and study phenomenons, right? Study connections between fitness and, and work, between work and family, between family and sports, between work 
and and spores between all this stuff, right? And so the time value of money concept is relatable to your goal and your vision, right? You're trying to lose weight. You're trying to, to get a master's degree. You're trying to build a business. You're trying to connect better with your significant other or your children. You're trying to be a better speaker. I always use me in there as well, right? So it, the, the time value of money is related in this, in this sense, right? Time value of pleasure. And this has came to me about six months ago. I've been kind of talking about it um, in, in certain circles, but now I'm going to give you guys what I've been learning about it or thinking about, right? So everything we want in life, Right, everything that that we see as a goal, or a vision, or a dream, right, is offset or competing against other things we like. Right, there's a conflict between the thing you want to be, or want to have, or want to do in your life, and all these other things that are in conflict with that. So you might imagine like a big uh, uh, warrior or a big beast as your ultimate vision of who you want to be and what you want to do, right? And then you have all these, then you have, then you have all these little bitty dominions, dominions or minions or, 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 or small army people that are fighting against that big one, right? And the problem is they're in conflict. So you have two things, you have one thing you really like, but then you have hundreds, thousands of small little things that you also like. And those two things are in direct conflict, right? So, for example, you would love to have a nice body and be lean and be strong and be able to wear what you want to wear and be able to go to the beach confidently or go to the pool confidently or be attractive to your to your mate confidently and feel like you got, got your groove back. You would love that. We all would love that. But you also love hot dogs and hamburgers and chips and cookies and sleeping in and sitting on the couch and Netflix binges, right? You also love that. So those two are in direct conflict. The problem is the time value of pleasure, right? So because that thing you really want is so far away from you and and you can't really picture it right now in the moment, these small things that are not as valuable if you compare the two in the same space of time, because that's so far away from you, these small things win continuously, right? These small things win continuously. And because we don't have the ability more times than not to forego this instant pleasure for the big pleasure, we lose out on what we really want to have in life or what we think we want to have in life or what we say we want to have in life. Right, So you want to be 30 pounds lighter, but that's going to be a year from now or two years from now or 10 years from now in your mind. But right now, there's a hot dog in front of you or a hamburger or pizza. Right now, it's cold in the morning. You don't want to get up when the alarm, the alarm goes off. So this instant pleasure overrides the big pleasure. Right, Same is true for me. Right, I want to be a speaker. I can see myself speaking. Right? You know, passionately on stage and, and, and getting a round of applause, right? But that requires a lot of things, doing videos, writing my speeches, working on uh, content, learning about things, going to workshops. I don't have time for that. I have time, but I don't have time for that in my head. I'm tired. I'm busy, right? So sleeping in when I can in the moment is more pleasurable than that. Because I can feel that now, right? Sitting on my couch, right? After coming home from work, from training people all day and getting my workout in, sitting down because I deserve to sit down, right? We, all, we always tell ourselves that I've earned the right and watching Sports Center for two hours and not reading or watching a video to motivate me about speaking, right? That in the moment is more pleasurable because it's a now thing. It's a here and now versus what might be next year or two years from now or maybe never, Right, So our inability to fight off those instant pleasures, to keep in mind and keep in sight the big pleasures is what kills us. Right? And many of us do it in other areas of our lives, like for fitness. 
right? I don't like working out more than anybody else. I really don't. I might like it less than some people that think I like it more. But I really, really want and like how it feels to be fit, right? And, 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 you know, I'll admit, you know, my mind is not as far away, right? I'm, you know, you know, my vision of what I want to be is like around the corner at any point in time from that standpoint. But it wasn't always that way. I mean, I spent, I spent years of training and being frustrated because I was skinny. And me and Brandon worked, been working out since we were 13, 14, 15 years old. And it was years before we saw any progress. Years. And so, and so even back then, I was willing to, to, to forsake a night out with the boys, right? Or, or staying up too late when I had to get up early and go work out or missing a workout or not drinking my protein shake because it was, it, it was gross, right? All those things that were instant pleasures, I was willing to, to forgo that because I knew what I wanted and I knew that was bigger, right? The time value of pleasure, I knew that was bigger, and I was willing to give, give up all these little bitty things to get that. It's like if, if I said, I'll give you, I'll give you a hundred dollars in a month, right? Or I'll give you twenty dollars today and twenty tomorrow. Many people would take the twenty today and twenty tomorrow, even though it's less than a hundred in a month. Right? So the, the the deal is you have to understand that yes right now it's it's one to zero right now it's sleeping it's, it's sleeping in versus really nothing it's an easy win right just like it's twenty dollars versus nothing right just like it's it's a it's a donut versus nothing really I don't really get abs right now by not having the donut so the donut wins right now but you know that if you forego these small, these small pleasures, the donut, the, five, the, the, the hour le, le longer of sleeping in, the, the missed party here or there, right? if, you for, if you forego some of those things, the thing you get on the backside is way better. It's way bigger. And if you look back now, even, even today, right, what you want to be today, a year ago, like what did you want to be on July 20th? 2019 when you thought about it on July 20th, 2018, right? What did you want to be financially? What did you want to be physically? What did you want to be in your relationship, right? And you, and you probably had good intentions, but every day along that journey, all 365 days on that journey, you took something that was small that took you off the path because in that moment, it felt better. And I promise you, look back. None of that shit was worth it. None of it. The, 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 the fries weren't worth it. The sleeping in for an hour wasn't really worth it. Right? Going to the party and skipping on, out on the workout wasn't really worth it. Going on vacation and not working out for a week because you're on vacation wasn't really worth it. Right? Well, I mean, it wasn't worth it, right? I mean, would you look back now, what did you get from it? That, 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 that you probably couldn't have had anyway, in some cases. That time you had in, in Cancun with your family, you could have had a good time still and worked out. It wasn't much better because you didn't work out, I promise you. Right? So, if in that year what you, what you, what you gave up wasn't really worth it, then let's change that. Right? The 20 bucks you spent that I gave you, what would you buy with it? I said you can have $100 in a month from now. I said, no, no, I want this right now. I need 20 now, right? And then the next day, I need 20 more. So it's only 40 versus 100, but you needed it right now. What did you get with that $20? What did you get? Is it still here? It's probably not even still here. You ate it, you used it up, you wore it, whatever it was. It's an analogy, but, but you get the point, right? Whatever it was that you needed the money for now, that you needed the sleep for now, that you needed to go party for now, it wasn't worth it. If it was worth it, then what you really wanted to have wasn't really worth it. Like the body you wanted, the money you wanted, the relationship you wanted, the career you wanted wasn't really that good. If that was worth it, if that if that what you gave up for, the party, the fries, if that was better than what you wanted to have, 
and you look back now and whatever you forsake for that was worth it, then what you really wanted wasn't big enough. Right? If that was worth it, yeah, it was worth it. Going to Cancun and, and taking the whole week of just partying was totally worth it. Then the body you wanted wasn't really that, that, that valuable to you. Right, you want to go. You want to go playing in college, right? So all your boys in high school don't want to play in college, so they want to go party, and 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 you give in and go party, right? And then when you go when when it comes around and you're a senior and there's no full rides offered for you, right? No full rides, nobody calling you up. If you ain't mad about that, you didn't want to go to college and play sports, because that party, I promise you, those parties you went to, what they weren't worth giving up a scholarship. I don't care who was, I don't care what girl went to the party or what boy went to the party. It wasn't worth giving that up. I don't care how good the Mai Tai was or the, or the margarita. It wasn't worth giving up that one moment on the beach when everybody says, ooh, how old are you? I promise you it wasn't worth that. Right? The, the, the night with your boys that you, that you had to do because it was so much fun, had to go to Vegas, and your daughter wanted to hang out with you. A year from now, I promise you, it wasn't worth it. When she really needs to talk to you now, and you and you don't, you not, you can't talk to her. I promise you, that money you spent at the blackjack table wasn't worth it. Right, so it, it's it's really simple, right? And on this journey, when you're going toward your your vision, it's moments, and you build a muscle, right? The time value of pleasure muscle. And you say, okay, I love, and, and don't lie to yourself, I love Coke, I love fries, I love sleeping in, but do I want it more than that? Do I love it more than losing 30 pounds? Do I love it more than getting a master's degree? Do I love it more than building a business? Do I love it more than being financially secure? Do I love it more than, than being accomplished in my field? Right? And you're going to lose some of those battles, right? Yeah, I, actually, I do. Right now, I do love sleeping in. But... You got to fight it and keep telling yourself, no, I don't need to spend $5. I want I want this more. And we already do it, right? You want the coach bag. You want the shoes. You want you want to go to that nice restaurant. But you want to go to Hawaii in six months more. We already do it for certain things anyway. Just do the same thing for what you really want to be in life. Right? I, I need to read right now. So right now, sitting here and kind of watching television and letting the hour go by and then watching this and then kind of just being lazy, that feels good, right? But being 10 steps further in my journey and being on stage and being, and being Coach Bobby's here, right, that feels better. I had my first person ever in my life approach me in my gym last week. He came in, he was going to go to the batting cages and he was like, I want a picture with you. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I follow you on Instagram. My boys won't believe that I met Coach Bobby. First time, a stranger approached me, right? So I want that for me, right? So, so after we got the picture, that next 20 minutes was the best workout I've had in a long time. Because in that moment, that was more important to me than the pain. Like the pleasure of skipping out on the pain, right, was less important to me than the pleasure of having people recognize me as somebody who's motivated them and inspired them. Right? So if if they if if the two items were not equal, it would be easy. If you didn't like one of the two, it would be easy, but it's a challenge, it's a conflict. And the time value of pleasure is is what determines how far you get. So every day, guys, I want you guys to really figure out how often you're winning that time value of pleasure, conflict, right? And begin by trying to win some, right? Acknowledge when that conflict is going on in your life. Acknowledge when you're eating a hamburger, but you want to look good, right? And maybe, maybe, maybe write down how often you think about it and win or lose, and give yourself credit when you win. It's not all or nothing. Right? Normally, I would I would have I would have slept in for an hour. I did only a half hour today and got the win for a walk. That's a win. 
Normally I would get hamburger and fries. Today I got protein style burger with fries. With fries, that's a win. Right? You're right, BC. It happens in in a it's, it's a pro, it's, it's a process. It's a long journey, and if it's worth it, if going to Hawaii is worth it, you're willing to make these small sacrifices over time. If if losing What's up, Chris? What's up, Chris? If losing 30 pounds is worth it, it's worth making these small sacrifices over time. You don't have to give up your life. You don't have to quit living and quit enjoying. Right? But you do need to start making decisions about what's more important, this pleasure in the moment or that pleasure. Right? And we do it all the time with stuff. Right, you don't get a degree in school, right, Chris, without sacrificing at least some of the parties to study. Right, part of that is because the the the, the prize is is mandated by punishment. Maybe your parents are paying for your school, so you're driven by that. But you're still driven, and you still make the sacrifice. All you gotta do is do the same thing. You want to be lean. Right, make decisions along the way where you give up some of the instant pleasures in the moment for that big pleasure that you see in the end. Right? No one's gonna help you do it. No one's gonna fight it for you. You're not 13 anymore. You're not 11. You're not eight. We're grown ass people. Stop blaming everybody. Right? Don't blame me if you can't go to Hawaii when you go to go to uh Go to Starbucks every day. Don't blame me when you can't buy a car when you buy shoes every month. It's the same thing. Don't blame me when you when you're a year from now, July 20th, 2020. Don't blame me if you don't look great when every day you decided to forego that dream for the current pleasure in front of you. The sleeping in, the watching television, the drinks, the food. Trade some of that for that dream. Trade some of those small, those small pleasures for the big pleasure. And you can't lose. You cannot lose if you do that. If you continue to work on that, that conflict between current pleasure and, and the big pleasure. It's long term, but I call it the big pleasure. Like the current pleasures that, that are like, you know, poking at this damn thing, you know, and the big pleasure, that's big and strong. But eventually, these little pokes bring it down. Right? Start taking some of those away. Right? All the little big chihuahuas biting at this big-ass pit bull. That's your big dream. Start taking one away every week. And eventually, instead of 100, 100 chihuahuas fighting this big-ass pit bull, it's, it's, it's 90. And then it's 80. And then eventually, it's like two or three. You can deal with that. Right? But think. Right? Decisions. Right? Time value of pleasure. Right? What are you willing to give up today in terms of pleasures, small pleasures, empty pleasures, to have the big pleasures? All right, guys? So share this video if you like it. Uh, you know, follow me on Instagram and my Facebook page and YouTube at Coach Bobby. But uh, keep, you know, keep fighting, guys. It's a process, you know. And you, and and if you're here, if you got up this morning, God ain't done with you yet. And we got improve, improving to do because the world needs what you have to give it. Becca, Chris, Brandon, the world needs us, right? All of us, right? There's things that we, that that we have that the world needs us to do. And we can't keep keep doing that if we keep allowing these small little pleasures to prevent us from getting to where we want to be. All right, guys. Love you. Have a great Saturday. Get some work in. Have a great day. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.